Hi and welcome to a new modern league. So you know me, once in a while I must play death and taxes and today I want to try the basic list. We are not trying too much weird stuff. Aside from strict proctor main, we are playing four copies of this card. It's almost a Nash bringer, but it also stops abilities from non-creature permanents such as bounce lands and cigar the Zade, the artifacts, all those kind of stuff we are planning to stop elementals there are too many elementals right now and also amulet is kind of popular so obviously we are playing strict proctor and arbiter together with the stoneforge mystic so hopefully i'm not going to kill myself by not being able to fetch an artifact with the stoneforge other than that we are playing peacekeeper and archon those cards are amazing right now we have the solitudes we have the standard package i'm still playing thalia i still think that it's a pretty good card in the right matchups and then we have a sideboard that is just perfect i think against camp we are going to bring in path to exile and sanctifier cut strict proctor and thalia against cascade decks we are going to cut Proctor for Granite and Lauren is here to stop any Urza Saga artifact based deck. So without further ado, let's jump into a league. Okay, I'm looking for any other vial. Uh, this is not too bad though. I, mean, I, think I'm, I think I'm still going to keep. Okay, this is likely going to be a Ragvan, I guess. Or a Thoughtseize. Yeah, a Ragvan. Okay. Ooh, weather vial off the top. Nice. Okay, that giver though, uh, that giver is so good for them. Okay, they got my giver. I'd like to, okay. We're facing scam playing polluted delta. Okay, sadly not having strict proctor, interesting. Sadly not having solitude now is hurting me a bit. So they, they missed the land drop. This means that I could draw Solitude now, get rid of the Ragvan, or I could. I think it's time to play Thalia, which is likely going to die to any, I don't know, Fury or um, Orkish Bowmasters. Oh, wow. Okay, fine. I guess they want uh, to play Orkish Bowmaster this turn. Another Thalia. Here comes Orkish Bowmasters. Yep, that was kind of obvious. I could still draw a solitude though, or another other vial. <laughs> that that giver turn one was so good for them. Okay, they got a stone forge. Good. Okay, fine. There's the solitude. Uh, so kind of have to play solitude on the giver. I really don't see any other option. They could have a push or a bolt. Yeah, I think I have to wait here. They could also just get my solitude out of the doti. Okay, they want to attack with the doti. Fine. Okay, I uh, guess I'm going to uptick it just to be able to play Solitude if I draw one. Yeah, Stoneforge is not bad. I mean, any discard spell now is somewhat of a problem because they could cast my Kaldra. But if I manage to get Kaldra into play, it should be fine. Okay, they're playing around my Solitude. Another other vial. I think I'm just going to wait. I mean, if they want to play Solitude now, is okay. Okay. Play Solitude and the target Archon. Okay. So I'm just going to block the Vagavan. Take five. They could play an Undying Effect, I don't think it's worth it. This could be a Fable. Yeah, Fable these. So, not to this one, yes, to the other one. And we have the land. So, I could actually play Sword. But if I 
play and equip the sword and draw one, they're going to ping me. So you kind of need to leave these on top, which means that I'm just going to ward cast both my cards now. Just to have a blocker. Mm, that's interesting. Oh, please, play an undying effect. Yes, please, thank you. Oh, God. <laughs> that's so bad for them. Um... Uh, yeah, you know that this is going to come back in my... Uh, nice, good job. <laughs> okay, so as I said, I want to cut these eight cards to just bring in Path to Exile and Sanctifier. Okay, so I like this end because we have Sanctifier, but if they scam us, they're going to take Sanctifier and Path to Exile, and this is not going to be that good. But I have, I'm not looking for anything better than this, so I'm going to keep. It's just a good mulligan to 6, basically. Okay, they have a removal spell for my giver, which is totally fine. Yep. No, the thought sees. Sanctifier, I needed you. They kept a one lander again. Why? Uh, I kind of want to go for a ghost quarter. It's a bit too risky. I think I'm just going to pass a turn. Because I want to be able to play this sword and I need mana anyway. As soon as I draw an Arbiter, I'm going to get rid of that Blood Creep though. Plus with two Path to Exile and then going for uh, the Mana Denial plan is not ideal. Take the Caldra. Uh, interesting. Your turn. Next turn I can play Giver and try to equip uh, the sword, which is not too bad. Ooh, and they're vile too. I guess I'm not going to equip the sword, no. I'm just going to play either vile and wait. Because it's kind of obvious that they have a terminate, and I'd waste just two mana. Or fishbowl masters, sure. Not too scary. Yuri. Just to kill my giver, that's fine. Not going to play Path to Exile on any of these creatures though. Okay, another land. Which is not too bad. We are not in danger. I'm fine uh, just building my my board here, get more lands into play. Because I could draw any uh, any creature that I want to cast and equip the sword to. So having more mana is fine. Obviously, Sanctifier would be the best draw, because at least we are uh, safe against any kind of Terminate or Bolt, and we can just equip the sword, but any feature is pretty really fine. Another Vial, though. We are drawing a lot of Vials today. They are likely playing three Swamps, so if I go Ghost Quarter and Path to Exile, uh, I will kind of have one free path to exile. I think I want a vial on two. No, it's not true. I'm going to uptick both because if I draw a free drop, I cannot equip the sword if I then use the vial to play it. Yeah, exactly. This keeper, they have grief and shield dread, which are both bad cards here. So I'm going to name Grief, then I'm going to your turn. It's the play Shieldred. We go Path to Exile, talk with the Peacekeeper, get back Sanctifier, Violin Sanctifier. We're in a pretty amazing spot. I don't think that this matchup is too bad for us. Are oh, there something? No. Uh, so, okay, no, okay, yes. Other land, attack you, get back Sanctifier, Vial, yeah, Sanctifier into play, and your turn. So if they go Grief now, I'm just going to play Path to Exile on the Grief. No reason to wait. Here comes the Grief. Yeah, uh, that was kind of game. Nice. Okay, we're on the play. I see Vial, I keep and I mean, we are a bit light on threats overall, but I think that this end is keepable. Yesterday, I tried to play the Vintage Qualifier with Mono White 
initiative and I played a lot of Palias turn one. It's pretty good there. Ooh, we are facing we are facing meal. So right now I'm just looking for Arbiter. I think they're going to push oh another crab. Okay. Uh that's kinda bad then. They could have another one too. Yep. No my arbiters. Oh wow. Okay. Okay, this is this is scary. I mean, I'm not too scared of what they can actually cast. I'm just dead to any fetch land, basically. Okay. At least Archon is also making uh, these lands come into play topped. Uh, this goes up to three. Okay, that's not too bad. We can at least kill a couple of crops next turn. But yeah, we are not in a great spot. Okay, so they actually left everything in top, so they could have a push. That means that they want to equip my sword to Archon. I mean, I could draw... Okay, it doesn't change. Uh, the fact that they have to equip it to talk. Even if I draw Arbiter, I'm not going to activate Ghost Quarter. No, they had Drown. And I could have played around Drown by equipping to Thalia. And then play another Thalia again. So they have one turn to kill me. Got punished for upticking this one. Ah, uh, so sad. I still have three solid shits in my deck though. So it made sense to, to uptick the vial. So the only card that actually helps them now is a uh, push. Okay. That could be it. Unless they have a fetch land. Oh, we won. Okay, nice. Uh, Lauren to destroy and snaring bridge. Path to Exile. I'm just adding cards, really. They think that this should be it. Sanctifier is not too bad, but I don't think it's that good either. I mean, Proctor is crazy good against them. I think I'm going to keep even if I have just one land. So it's not too bad. So you kind of want to kill this crap now. Another one. Your turn. Okay, end of turn, either by a giver. On top. I need a land. Or another vial, I guess. I think I'm just going to play Proctor now. Okay, they want to push my giver. Still going to give protection from black to the proctor. And there's the land too. Nice. So now I'm only scared of ensnaring bridge and Thalia should be pretty good against it. We still have all the Lorans in the deck anyway. Three cards left in their hand. Ooh, sword. Which could be good, but we cannot actually play it, so. Not the best draw. Okay, they're investing a lot of money just to mill me three times. Sure. Another Emeria's call. Yeah, I cannot play the sword anyways. I'm just going to play top attack. So we don't have any more giver. We have one giver left. Which is kind of okay just to be able to attack with the Thalia 2. We have two solitudes. Hopefully they don't go counter spell. Nice. I mean, we should be in a good spot overall. Okay, they're cycling. This could be explosive zone too, actually. <laughs> I just realized that. Uh, now they tried to cast something else. Okay, they have a three mana spell in hand. Uh, which hopefully it's not a snaring bridge. Okay, we have the answer for ensnaring bridge, so it's not a problem anymore. Thank you. Draw land. Your turn. They're dead even if they go damnation. They're just going to flash Lauren and equip the sword and win the game. Okay, we won. 
that is an erring region re-archived trap that couldn't that they couldn't play so nice okay this end looks awesome so we keep Hopefully they're not going to play Doty in 2 grief, taking my Amiria skull. Profane Tutor Exiled. Okay. That is interesting. But I mean, I have Arbiter, which could actually be great against that Profane Tutor. And even Archon is pretty good, so I think I'm going to play... Archon first. Ooh, Peacekeeper. No. So many options. Uh, so many options. I think he won the Peacekeeper naming Profane Tutor. Then they paid it to for to, to cast Profane Tutor. I flash in Arbiter. They lose the Profane Tutor. So that's just Norkish Bowmasters. Nothing too serious. Oh, they have a lot of Orkish Bowmasters. I uh, sure. Should I still name Profane Tutor? They have a Fatal Push. They have a Push, which is so annoying. Guess I'm going to name Push. Now, as soon as they cast Profane Tutor, I'm going to flash Arbiter in. And just tax them for two, which is not that great, but... It's still something. Okay, they paid 3 to actually just push uh, Arbiter, which is totally fine. They basically wasted this turn. My worst draw now is likely Thalia. This sword is not great either against uh, all those Bowmasters, sadly. And Solitude is not too bad. How about Coffers? Okay, we have the Ghost Quarter though. Is that a Shieldred? That's a Karn. That is indeed a Karn. Okay. So I could go for Solitude into send the Karn down to one, which is not bad. I think I'm leaving these to three right now. Now they could go for Orkish Bowmasters uh, during their turn into Orkish Bowmasters in my turn. Okay, they managed to get another... Okay, they're killing the other vial, makes sense. Another Solitude. This one just going to attack with the old crew. They play another... Uh, and they have to play Stoneforge this turn though. I'm just going to attack Karn like these. Now I play Stoneforge. Get... Actually, Sword of Light and Shadow is not too bad against that deck. But they cannot really beat Kaldra unless they find another Karn. And then I equip the Sword to the Archon. And I also want to kill a couple of coffers. So they play Orkish Bowmasters again. Being face. Sure. Link to Dust. Okay, that's their only play for the turn. They're trying to play something else, but they cannot. So uh, I guess they wasted a turn, basically. So yeah, it's still you, you you still cannot cast anything. You already played your spell for the turn. Mm, I don't know. I don't think that anything is bugged. They probably tried to cast Cling to Dust. I don't know. Uh, whatever. Let's focus on our side of the game. Okay. Feet of Ruin is pretty good. So this turn I'm going to activate Stoneforge. And I guess I'm going to talk with the Archon to... I need to kill these Orkish Bowmasters. Okay, that's even better, actually. Uh, 
That's totally fine. Okay. They get no trigger from my sword. And I'm not going to play the Tarkon. I think that they have a mass removal. Or they're playing around it, you know. I have no idea what they actually have. I mean, that could be a Profane Tutor. Uh, it says rather than. So against them, I won all these cards. I don't think that Strict Proctor is doing much, sadly. Because it just stops the Orkish Bowmasters. I surely won the um, Sanctifier. I think that maybe cutting three Thalys is not too bad. Solitude is not that good either. Okay, this is a good keep. Uh, Thought Seize, my poor other vial. A bit too many Maria Skull. But Demolition Field is actually pretty good against them, so I'm not too... Worried about that, yeah, we're bored. We gotta go squirter too. Yep, uh, sure. Your turn. This could be Karn or Shieldred, I guess. The one ring could be also scary. I think that this is a Karn though. Because the one ring, there is no, no chance that they don't cast it. Let's play Vile, top land, attack for two. Your turn. Tokenuma? Or maybe it's just a march on the giver. Yep. Sure. I could go for Sanctifier. I think I I should probably play Sanctifier now. It's not too bad. And I think I try to keep a Maria's Call in hand because I'm not too far to being able to actually cast it. So both C's again. Sure. Okay. They took the Solitude. They're not playing anything else, which means that they could have more removals. You know, maybe they have Orkish Bowmasters. And I have to play these, Talia though. During upkeep was a bit better. Yeah, upkeep, upkeep Talia was better. Made no difference, thankfully. I have no idea what is going on. They keep tapping and tapping. Okay, there's the detonation. Nice. Let's tick up vial and for a solid. Sure. I mean, it's not too bad. They discarded the solitude earlier, so I think that they have some sort of creature in it. They add a troll, maybe they have something else. Mm, okay. If I play Giver, I don't have Solitude online, but I think it's fine. Push. Another March? No, it's just a troll. Into March. Sure. Okay, that's a card. Sure. Getting the one ring, I guess. There is no reason to, to get anything else here. Yeah, there's the one ring. They're not playing the one ring though. Okay. One ring. They need to pay six to play the one ring plus two more to uh to activate it. So, yeah, they're going to get a removal. A <laughs> big one too. They need a solitude now. A solitude is my only out and we already so two solitude this game. Yeah. Okay, this is a concede, sadly. This is not too bad. It's a bit, it's a bit risky though. I'm going to keep it anyway. Okay. We have double stone forge, which is pretty good, but they needed a second land. Wow, sending blood into discard one. They are discarding card. Land, please. Okay, and there's Cabal Coffers. We got the land, so I'm going to play Peacekeeper first. They have a lot of cards. Invoke despair. 
You see him naming card. Or maybe Domination. I don't know, I think that Karn is a bit better as a target. So this turn, they, they could actually play Domination, but then they play another Stoneforge. Mm, they have another plan. No, that's it. Okay, we got the land. We kind of want to get rid of that one before doing anything else. Your turn. Okay, if they go card now, should they play Lauren? They're just not going to do anything. Then I'm just going to... Shouldred Edict is obviously super bad for me. Nah, come on. This was such a good top deck. That was such a good top deck. So this turn, I cannot equip any sword. They go for plus one. So I'm just going to tick then another Archon. Should they go face? I think so. I mean, I cannot defeat Karn anyway right now, so it's better to just go face. If they have another Damnation, that's crazy good, but they already top deck the Shoulders Edict, so they can only cast one spell. They have four mana. If it's just, I don't know, even a Snaring Bridge is not an out. The one ring sure gives them one turn. This turn I'm going to kill the Karn. And I could play Arbiter, but I don't think it's the right choice. I don't think it's the right choice. They're down to four now. Couple of coffers comes into play tapped. Invoke Despair is useless. The other Karn is useless. So they have three useless cards in hand. And single target removal is not good enough. Okay, they draw two more. Nine cards though. They just need uh i mean even if they get damnation it's not good enough because i'm just going to uh get sword into play end of turn end of turn solitude okay uh i guess i should probably flash in solitude anyway right even if they have one removal this way i still have lethal i'm just going to keep keep the sword here and then attack with all. Unless they have some fog effect, we should be fine. A big march uh, does actually save them. Yeah, they're, uh, they're down to one. Okay. Okay, so they are down to three. Taking two from the one ring. This is close, though. This is really, really close. So they need the one ring now. Or another march, I guess. Another one ring. Sure. <laughs> Why not? So let me think. If I play Peacekeeper, I don't think that Peacekeeper does anything at all right now. I guess Arbiter is a bit better, but if they cast Profane Tutor, they cannot play anything else anyway. So they're looking for Damnation off the top, and that means that any creature I'm going to play now, it doesn't matter. But at least I'm taxing two of their mana. Unless they have a push for the Arbiter. Archon is such an amazing card. So good. So they need to pay two, and if they cast Profane Tutor, that's the only thing that they're going to cast this turn. Okay, they didn't. Okay. Do you have Damnation? The second copy. Why well, could not search? Paying two bug a lot. Uh, actually, they have to pay before. I, I have no idea, whatever. I, I don't think that there are so many bugs in MTGO right now. For example, this is not a bug. This um, Arbiter's ability does not go on the stack, so you need to actually pay two before doing anything else, or at least you need to hold control to, be, uh, to, to keep priority and pay the two. So this was not a bug. Whatever, we won. I think that these Archons made an awesome job. I think that this deck needs a better mana base, but not just a better mana base. I think that it needs some better Field of Ruin effect because we are playing some amazing cards. I mean, Archon and Peacekeeper are so good in, in Vintage and Legacy too, obviously because you can actually play them by turn one and it's crazy. And that's true, but still, these cards are really amazing. And then we are playing some Arbiter, which is 
one of the worst to drop uh, ever, but it's kind of playable in this shell. And we we still have Giver and Stoneforge, which are crazy good. But we need to we need a, a couple of cards, I think. Um, one good field of ruin, such as I don't know, Wasteland, could be enough to just get rid of the Arbiter. Okay, uh, bad end. So Mulligan. Okay, these on the other end is pretty solid. And I think I should keep one of my two three drops just avoid uh, missing the land drop and i think that archon overall is better over grunt carry on feeder oh sure so this is the combo deck with cauldron mono black something okay i'm just going to place i guess both these are fine but i want cauldron first or maybe it's just zombie uh either way they are not going to beat my my cauldron <laughs> i'm trying to play Maria's called tapped into play as well. Then we attack with the Caldra. It's kind of funny because Proctor is also going to stop the Servant. I think that that deck has some sort of combo, but I don't think that they're going to win by turn three. Okay. So they can deal me a bunch of damage now, but that's basically it. I also think that they should probably just keep attacking. Because next turn you can play Proctor and uh, stop them from doing crazy stuff with the Servant. I'm also going to Ghost Quarter, the Shrine. I don't think that they're playing basic planes. And maybe they want to, I don't know, they have Prismatic Ending in their deck or something like that. So yeah, I think that they have Cauldron too. Brave Crawler, okay. So even if they pay two to drain me for one, then I can give protection from black and attack for lethal. Sure. And we still have a flying feature. I have no idea how can they possibly win. I'm just going to block. Uh, Sure, I want to give protection from black. So the fact is that even if they uh, don't die next turn, Caldra is just going to kill basically everything, every single creature they have okay then i think the i'm just going for lethal okay that was easier than expected so sanctifier pretty amazing against a deck like that path to exile also pretty good i don't want thalia poor thing and arbiter is also not great i still think that they could have cauldron but right now i don't think i want the lauren maybe Lauren is a bit better than Archon. Okay, Giver, some creatures, not the best, but I don't think it's too bad either. I think that Giver alone is a pretty menacing threat for them. Champion of the Perished. And Proctor is also going to stop Champion. So far, it's not a bad card in this meta. It's kind of annoying because we are playing Stoneforge as well. But overall, I'm, I'm kind of happy about it. They go for a double creature. No, prismatic ending, sure. We guessed that they were playing something like that. Okay, we got the path to exile too. So Proctor is going to block the Grave Crawler. Next turn, I can go Demolition Field on the Godless into Giver. Or Path to Exile. Uh, still thinking going to block, sure, why not? They can cast it again, but it's not too... Okay, yeah, that's definitely the combo. I think Loran... Uh, it's not too bad at this point. Sure. Go ahead. So they can now kill my Giver. I kind of want to draw land though. They're just going to... They're just going for the kill, sure. Okay. Godless untapped. Is that a prismatic ending on the Loran? Servant. So now they can cast Grave Crawler. I think I want to Path to Exile this one. Okay, that's that's kind of interesting, actually. They want to play Archon first. Not going to attack. I mean, it was not a bad attack, actually. I forgot that this cannot block. Because trading like this is totally fine for me. Yeah, I had to attack there. Ballista for two. Guess we can draw. They cannot play more than one card per turn, anyway. Mm, I think I want to play Path to Exile. But if they... If I play Path to Exile on the Ballista, 
They're just going to shoot me once. It's fine though, they're not going to get the land. No problem. I wanna land though. Nice. I'm getting back the Lauren just because they could top deck another cold drone and they want to be able to answer it. And it topped land for the turn. I don't know, that deck seems funny and all, but I don't think it's actually that good. I mean, at least zombies are playable, I guess. Yeah, there's a, the other cold drone. But they know about my Loran. Do they have a discard spell? Oh, they're taking my giver. Pretty good. So now they can give protection to the grave crawler. Uh, should I go for up to nine? Play Loran. Get rid once again of this annoying cold drone. We do have a blocker now. The problem is that they could have another cold drone exiled. Who they do? Okay, okay, this is getting interesting then. Am I dead? So I'm going to take five, six. I shouldn't be dead right now. Ooh, they have something else though. Maybe not. So I'm just attacking first. This is kind of close. So now you take four because they're going to kill Lauren. And they can only play one creature. So it shouldn't be good enough to actually kill me. Three damage. Uh, even if they go for a Ballista for two, I am down to one. So it should be game. Those are two creatures, okay. But you cannot play anything else. I'm down to one. Does the deck play any flesh creature? I don't think so, right? My Archon has protection too. So unless they have some way to kill the sword, we should be... Okay, that was just game. Nice. We're on the play. Can we get a trophy playing this beautiful deck? Okay, so this is a mulligan to six, but we have the vial, so fine keep for me. Come on, give me an easy matchup. Marsh Floods. Oh, Blood Creeps. We are getting scammed. No, please. Oh, it's just a Thoughtseize. Oh, wow. Thoughtseize into Grief. Itching Doty. Wow, that, that, that's something. The other Vile is not great, but we could actually draw Stoneforge. I mean, was it really the, the right choice? Because now they have no turn to play. Sure, they have a ball, that's fine, but they, they had a ball for the Thaliat as well. I don't know. Just looking for Stoneforge. That's all I'm asking for. Imagine having uh, Yorion now. Worst card that they could play right now is Fable. I'm kind of scared of Fable. Okay, that could be a problem too. Got an Archon though. I should have. Oh no, they're just attacking. Just going to flash the Archon in now. Terminate. Bug it one. Turn. Okay. That is surely an interesting one. So if they attack with. Yeah, they, uh, they have Orkish Bowmasters. But as soon as they play Orkish Bowmasters, I'm just going to flash Strict Proctor. Or maybe that's just a feign death. So we got a Solitude. I need another white card though. This I'm going to attack and then I, I trade here. Another Doty. I think I should probably have ticked Vial now. This is not good. Should I play around another Ragvan? I think so. Fable. Okay, whatever. Let's ignore that game. Okay, let's focus. Made a mistake last game. Uh, I cannot keep this. Um, okay, this is this is pretty good. Guess I want to keep Path Exile instead of Solitude. Just because I'm on a mulligan to six. Yeah, I think I think so. Okay. Via go. Main goal here is obviously to resolve one of these sanctifiers. Ooh, okay. Please give me a white source. 
Okay, this is still fine though. Okay. Uh, I have no idea what they kept, to be honest. Not turn one and not turn two. And not turn two is not great for them. Able. Bloodmon? <laughs> what? <laughs> uh, Bloodmon? And they don't have black mana now. Uh... I have no idea. Truly no idea. So I, I think that I want to play another Sanctifier now that I have the chance to. If they go explosives, that's fine, but they are still missing color and it's easier to cast these two. I mean, what's the worst thing that it could happen now? Okay, they had the basic swamp. Go for a bolt into Fable. Okay. Guess I'm just going to talk with both. I need to pressure them. I want a peacekeeper. Why do you have Magus in your deck? What do we name here? Fury? We go terminate. Terminate into Magus. Why don't? Okay, they discarded Fury, uh, they discarded Grief and Magus of the Moon. Okay. So you want to Path to Exile, uh, the Reflection, obviously. So I'm just going to play double Archon. So they play Fury, kill the Archon. Okay. Do they attack too? Well, they do. Uh, sure. So, which is the best target? Is it one to attack with all now? Would they have a bolt? I think I should target the Fury, probably. I don't know, if they have another Fury, it's bad. Cannot play Stoneforge, though. Yeah, no matter what, you cannot play Stoneforge. Uh, I think I'm kind of scared more of the Fury. Because, I mean, they cannot block my Sanctifiers anyway, and this is the win con, so it's basically a race, and Fury uh, has a better clock than double, double Sanctifier, and they need, like, land into another Fury to have the same power into play. That's just a fable. Into Doty, sure. To and kind of scared to play this stone forge because any artifact they get, they could just discard it. And yeah, I, I should not play this stone forge, or I should play it but uh, avoid looking for anything. It's all about this Santifier, really. They discarded another fury and fable. They they need exactly explosives. Oh no. Wow. Ah oh, okay, we are dead. This is crazy. They're not even attacking first. It's it's just so so crazy. Okay, we got outskilled in the last game. I mean the, the game before I just hunted badly, but we were too behind anyway. Uh what is my best throw? Another Sanctifier, I think. Lost quarter. Okay, we lost. I cannot do anything now because they're just going to clone a bunch of times the Fable. They played so poorly and Blood Moon and Magus into the deck is so bad. But they won. So yeah, they have a Fury 2 and 1 is so dumb. Okay, we still got a 4-1, which is pretty good for a deck that is not even on the radar for any tier list ever. So, not bad. Strict Proctor, as I said, super good when it actually works, but when you have Solitude or, or, or Stoneforge and you want to do stuff, you cannot, so it's not that great. But overall, the deck looked fine. I would not take it to any RCQ, but it's 
pretty funny so if you enjoy the archetype you should still try it so anyway thanks for tuning in hope you enjoyed and see you in the next one